I've been in business for about 10 years or thereabouts. I was having challenges with my business and I had so many things going on in my head and I thought I needed to know more. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry is the arm of the organized private sector that promotes advocacy, promotes trade, commerce and investment. Um, apart from encouraging or creating a platform for commerce and industry to happen, we also have to find a way to facilitate efficiency in the system. So BEST is really business, education, services and training. I got to hear about BEST from KIND. You know, this Kodirat initiative. Uh, we are the pioneers of the BEST in 2013. Uh, during the program, they talked about business plans and all that. And one of the facilitators talked about business plans. She said, who here among girl wants, his wants to be like Dangote or wants his business to go to the next level and be able to buy a big car like home? Uh, I raised my hands up and I said, I'm the one. And she said, you are the one. Do you have a business plan? I said, no. What about strategy? I said, I'm thinking about it. So she laughed and said, look at you, and you want to be one of those big business owners. You are not serious. The unique thing about BEST is the fact that uh, BEST uh, is inclusive of chamber uh, members. We have a sectoral group called Professional Practice Group, where we have different professionals in different callings and areas um, who are experts in their areas. So what BEST does is to aggregate all these interests, bring them together, and they serve as facilitators in delivering world class trainings and consulting services for Chima members as well as the general public. And in recent times too, he's been, uh, also been involved in MSME training, entrepreneurship, and skills youth development um, engagement. It's very important as a female entrepreneur to be in a learning environment. Some of the things they taught us, um, law, taxation, organizational structure, leadership, you know, some of the hard skills, how are you able to put your books together, accounting, it was really, really robust, very enriching. I mean, it's a diverse class, so you have people from the IT sector, you have people that are going into agriculture, you have people that are in education uh, sector. But the principles are there. So what we'll teach you is, as you are going to your niche, how do you take this thing that we've given you and apply it? The peculiar challenge, I would say, is help, helping people unlearn what they have learned, relearn, and open their minds to be able to receive what they have come for in the class. I had the opportunity to engage with some of the facilitators who changed my perspective of combining technology with my business for sustainability. And then the second aspect of it is the highlight of going to visit a particular um, manufacturing company. Now these manufacturing company we visited is a third, I think a third or fourth generation uh, manufacturing company. And as a first generation garment manufacturing company, I was able to understand the dynamics of how they've been able to do business for over 30, 40 years. All of us are always excited when it comes to mentoring, mentor, mentoring, fearing. And I was paired with um, Mr. Idausa. We take each mentee as an individual who at least has a passion to do some kind of business to convert that passion into a profitable enterprise. From planning the business, from the, the first few months or years of finding resources to run the business, whether it's from family or friends or from an agency like some of the agencies that support startups. And then we take, go through the process of product development Many of them already have products, but we go to the fundamentals of product development 
and, and product testing and then introduction market access. We have a training hub uh, which is um, the learning and development aspect of it where um, we share a pre-scheduled calendar um, yearly. We also have um, on-site trainings for different organizations beside, beside the calendar. We have lots of collaborations with Lagos State University, um, LBS, that is Lagos Business School, University of Lagos, now the National Open University. And we have a lot of other collaborations with our German partners, ISK, GIZ, CEQA. During that period of the mentorship program, there is this uh, um, opening for grants for entrepreneurs. And I applied for the UWIN. It was the UWIN too. And I won, you know. And I was very happy to win the grant then, which was about eight million. Then I, um, I started that African team interior. Uh, it helped me to reach more customers. And I was able to employ some more youth. Like was more or less like a micro day. So I was able to have more hands. So I got about eight or 10 employees with me then. And we grew our business. We, we made a profit about this three times the amount at that time, within a very short time. Anybody from any organization can apply. As long as you own a business, you can always be eligible to participate in any of our programs. As long as you're growing and you're board an entrepreneur, we have programs that suit you as well. We have a seven-year program now, tag the LCCI Secondary School Essay Competition whereby we give a topical issue to the secondary school students to start to write about economic issues, to start to, you know, prefer solutions to challenges in the economy. And a lot of organizations have seen what we are doing and they are willing to invest in youth literacy skills um, in, uh, in Nigeria as a whole. We also have the um, SKY program, which we are partnering with the German government, GIZ, to take youth off the street. So when these youth come into the class to train, we take them into the complex for their practical session. The niche of the business education services and training program is that it's highly affordable. In the last 10 years, we've trained over 6,000 professionals, both employees, both um, entrepreneurs, and both um, students that have gone through our youth skills development program. If we're saying that one of the areas that Nigeria will need to improve is industrialization and we need to build skills for that to happen and so the technical and vocational education um, and training program is very vital to the fabric of this economy because it turns out um, those who are trained on different vocations, different technical studies that will help them plug into the manufacturing setups and um, provide um, efficiency and improvement within the manufacturing setup. So we are also looking at um, being able to contribute significantly to economic development from the things that we are doing at best. If you are an entrepreneur and you are really focused and you pick on all those things that you learned, you put them together, you are going to meet somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that will get you to your goals.